We're What's back. happening? <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Welcome back to the Get That Skate podcast. It has been a little while. Oi, nice Speaking one. Speaking of has, we got has here. How are you, has? Good, mate. How are you? Dude, cruising. I've been, for anyone wondering where the podcast has been, there's a thing called Real Life, and Real Life's been Tell us about me it. hard. I've been working, new job, this and that. I'm a school teacher, so I've been writing school reports, and it's not fun. But we're here. You come up all the way from Manly Mate. to join the podcast <laughs> once again. Big effort, eh? If you're watching, just give him a slight clap. Thank you very much. First thing I want to touch, we got a lot to touch on, actually. We'll talk about what we've been doing lately, but show us your shirt. It's not a get that shirt, but I'm allowing it. Allow it, bro. Was it you that killed Kevin at Tuna? <laughs> we still don't know. Classic shirt right there. Shout out to Kevin. Hope he's... Uh, yep. Getting better. And 72 millimeter K-Rams. Yep. And it's at 72 millimeter K-Rams Instagram. At, yeah, that's it. So what have you been doing? Oh, mate. Work's work, you know. You're working, eh? Yeah. And you did four days straight at Platy the other day? Oh, no. Four days skating. Oh, just okay. Like, not just at Platy, but yeah. Better yeah. Ben's getting repaved. Bless. Hell yeah. We're getting a new run. I down think in some the- interstate people should come down. Yo, I reckon. I reckon. Yeah, like you've got that. Double layer hot mix, better bends coming on yeah. the 11th and a whole new run out I'll there. I'll put some clips of you skating that there. Look dusty. Oi. Fun. I ate shit. Hey. I was going to, I was going to ask <laughs> you, did you come off at all or what? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you ever see, you saw when I put up that thing on the cone? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. On. Yeah. Yeah. I fucked myself. True. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Like I, the w- best of I went over the speed bump. Yeah. And just like. As I was going over the speed bump, I was still sliding. Yeah. I was just like wigged. Yeah, right. And my board just tipped on the crest of the speed bump. Yeah. Bit. And I was just full, like all fours, flying in the air and just like slapped down, dumb stomach, dumb elbows. So you need to get like a, you need to always be strapped with a film with it so I can see this. Yeah. Because I, w- I wouldn't mind a laugh. pretty spectacular, eh? Yeah, right. yeah full soaring. Um, but yeah, it's dusty, but. It's worth it because yeah. they're going to remix, repave the whole thing. They got a new run out near Duddy's Mount Portal. True, fresh hairpins. So they've repaved. So there's like good no, they're, pave pa- they're there? paving a whole new road. I know. Let's do it. So like the bit where you used to go down, um, turn down to Duddy's. Yep. The other way. Yeah. Right. It was all dirt going up to the lookout. Yeah. Hot mixed. Dude, hell yeah! Absolutely. That's what you want. Shops, In so. the state, people, let's, let's do it. Come on down, boys and girls. So we thought um, we'd jump on the podcast, give everyone a little uh, another top 10. We've done one so far, and as I mentioned, we, there was a bit of a break in between podcasts, but the top 10 is just to tell people all the cool things that we've noticed that are happening. Yep. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. If you have, go let them know that Get That's talking about it, because... They're all really, we've actually, you can't see it in the camera, but if you see us turning our heads that way, I've got a makeshift, like I bought a little whiteboard and it's being held up by, what are those clips called? Butterfly or paper clips? The ones where you squeeze it. Anyway, so (laughs) let's rip into it. The first thing I want to talk about, and it has been a little while since it happened, but it's still blowing my brains away. I'm excited to see what happens from here on end. But the first thing we're going to talk about is Louis Poloni on Arbor Skateboards. Arbor Collective. Huge. Like, what the... Huge. Heck? That man been on Sector 9 since the beginning of time. Yeah, so look... Probably since he started skating. I think he started Sector 9. Yeah, well, that's what I've heard. Yeah. But enough about Sector 9. <laughs> Louis Poloni riding for Arbor Skateboards. Is yeah. Skateboards are the collective. The thing about Louis is if you ask him to ride the wheels or a board he's gonna do he's gonna he'll end up running the company yeah I, like mean, he's, I assume so to have someone on your team if anyone from Arbor's watching this which they are because everyone in Daniel skateboarding watches to get that skate <laughs> podcast but very lucky to have Louis Poloni on the team he dropped that video yes put a screenshot a of it there sick video as well that sick was sick video. to watch. Refreshing. So all all those different, like just the the steel shots, all yeah. that. Look, I don't know if this was like something that they've been working on, mm. or it was a long time coming. Yeah. If he'd been working at Arbor previously, but for us, man, like over here in Australia, came out of nowhere. I yeah. don't know about you, but like nah, that I, took me completely by surprise. No idea, but 
<laughs> I'm see the downhill side of um the Arbor Collective or Arbor is just as a whole company kind of like fizzled out. They haven't had um they weren't bringing out any new downhill boards. They brought out that Axel Surratt board. Yep. The double kick, the big double kick. Yeah, shout out to Axel. Dude, sick video. They Arbor make really good videos. But um yeah, seeing that um Louis video come out on YouTube for yeah, Arbor. What a notification that yeah. was. It's um it's what? exciting to see. He's gonna do a lot for that company. I hope so. I hope so. I wanna see a board with his name on it. Like Yeah. Counting down, Surely Arbor. Surely that's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Surely that's in the works as well. Speaking of Arbor. Speaking of Arbor. Doing good things. Yes. And the downhill free ride side, it, like Arbor products were, Arbor boards were always good looking boards. Yeah, Fun boards grain. to ride. Yeah, the wood grain. Yeah, the wood grain was sick. But even with the graphic, they make great boards and they also are making a great new downhill wheel for, for our boy Danny Mac. Yeah. Shout out to Danny Mac. If you're Congratulations, watching this, my which dude. You probably are. Shout out to so you. So sick, man. Yeah, I mean, having your name on a wheel. What does it feel like, mate? It's, it's a pretty surreal. It's feeling. good. It's a pretty surreal feeling. Um, and yeah, look, I'm, I'm sure Danny's stoked. Yeah. So I don't know how long he's been, you know, with Arbor. Oh, bro, but he works for Arbor. Like he's so down there on he Venice, works Venice for Beach. Him. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I've been into that store. It's and really friendly people. It was a while back, but. The thing I've noticed about Danny Mac is, as I mentioned before, the downhill side of things kind of went quiet for a bit. Mm. He's been with them the, whole, been in the time. whole time. So shout like out to him. He never stopped. And that's my big thing, like run and get that and just keeping an eye on things in the the downhill skateboarding industry. Like I like loyalty when it yeah, comes man. to brands. I 100%. see a lot of people jump from A to B and, <laughs> and C and D and E and F and all the way to Z. But – Danny Mac, that wheel that has your name on it, the vice, it's the vice shape, I believe. Okay. It's a new um, urethane. I think it's the nitro formula. It's none of that sucrose stuff. No, I, don't that I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's, it's, it says nitro formula on the wheel. It's 69 millimeters. Love that. 78A. Beautiful. Two colors, black and white. Oof. Keen to, I'm keen to just try him out. Yeah, no, I've seen some videos of him shredding them Hell as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll sick, find some videos and chuck them up now. Uh, I think like 37 millimeter contact patch. They actually have the contact patch written on the wheel, which a lot of wheels don't. So if that <laughs> interests you, check out the Danny Mac Vice wheel. So yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, congratulations, Danny man. Yeah, is it? How many people would have a name on a wheel now? Well, currently yeah. or of all time. Just uh, currently. Myself? Yep. Danny Mac. Danny Mac. We could spend a lot of time thinking about it. Yates. Yates. Chase. Chase. Um, Yates? Do they still make Yates' wheels? No, they stopped. Okay. Unfortunately. Well, they should still yeah. make those wheels. Yeah, a couple people. Yeah, a few people. Right. Awesome. That was number... <laughs> So that was number one. That's number one. Wait, that was number one, yeah. That's number one. We had a we're, two in we're one. We're linking them together. Right. The second thing that we want to talk about is a new product. We've been speaking about innovating things for downhill. We love innovation. Come, and we might do a separate podcast on that. However, there's a new product that's came out. You might know it as grip tape. <laughs> the awesome... <laughs> have you heard of grip tape? Um <laughs> The awesome people over at Rocket Skateboards, Rocket Longboards, Swiss made, beautiful skateboards. They've uh, let it, they've let the world know just this week actually about a new product that they've got and they're calling it Dark Matter Grip. You seen it? Yep. Have you heard Tested about it? Tested and prototyped by the Rocket Scientists. And one of them How good. is the wonderful Nick Greentree. However, yeah, before boy, we talk about Nick... The grip, the dark matter grip, so I've been told, instead of your normal grip tape that has that plastic backing and, you know, it was innovative when people started porphyrating it or whatever and putting holes in it, the dark matter grip is a fabric backing. Okay. So I think the... But why? I think the big rocks stick to it better, but okay. I think it bends and turns on concave and around things a lot better than a stiff plastic sheet would. True. Yeah, sick. I'll but I've yet it. to try it. I think Hop in Australia has it in stock. So if you're watching this and you're Australian, check out Hop Can Skate. Go to Google and search that in. I don't know what the actual domain is. Hopkin.com.au or Hop Can Skate, whatever. If not, you know, Rocket, just Hit rocket send up, the box. Send the box, Rocket. But yeah, Nikki <laughs> Greentree is our 
Aussie homie. He's our he's, rocket scientist. He's Australia's rocket scientist. Rocket probably should put one more person on the team. From I mean, they, they can afford to. Let's be real. Duddy's riding rocket boards. I've seen that. Mr. Neil Duddy, the yep. master champion of yep. Australia. <laughs> um, but yeah, Nikki Greentree put out a video with Meat Media. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Matt Leo. I'm going to put it up here. Sick toe sides. Yeah, dude. Going absolute hamberlam. And that was to test out yeah. the dark matter grip. So it I obviously think it works. Yeah. 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 So Wait, that last clip, man, when he goes into that left at Jossie, I thought he was gone. So did I, bro. I thought yeah. he was gone. Yeah. Wait, but his dark matter grip. His dark matter grip stuck kept into him the board. On. Must be so, good. So, yeah, it must be good. <laughs> I nearly said must be nice. I thought I was Max Mandel for a second. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Whoa. Number two was Dark Matter Filthy Grip. Name drop. Yeah. Shout out to Dark Matter Grip. Shout out to Rocket Longboards. Really good products. They're unstoppable. Swiss made, mate. What's the third thing we're talking about? Um. Pantheon's got some new boards. Yes. I just mentioned that to you before the podcast. Yeah. They've. Uh, I know I mean, they've been working on on Andy's one for yeah. a minute now. So there's Andy's Pro model. And I apologize. There's another board for another rider. I don't know his name. I'll find it after this. But Fuck. it's got like a diamond <laughs> tail kind of. I don't even. It's diamond like tail's a, hot right now, it's huh? It's like a diamond. Everyone's, slash pr- everyone's prototyping a diamond yeah, tail. Because diamond tails make. They just make you skate better. All right, come on. All find right. this homie's name. Oh, so, right. we don't so they're the Andy's pro model. They're yeah, prototyping. They're, yeah. Um, latest I saw that. They're wrapping up the final prototype yep. and they've got a graphic in the works and it's super sick and they're not trying to show us what it is. So maybe go ahead and do that. Um, Eric J. Bourgeois. 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 How would you pronounce that? Shout out to Eric though. Shout out to that dude. I did check it out and that dude shreds. However, his board... You got, right, you got a photo of the board? Yeah, I'll put the photo of the board up here. No, put up the photo right here. I want to see it. Let's oh! See how it's like diamond tail, but got like a yeah. curved element to it. Yeah, that's sexy ass. And that's I th- stoked for him. I think it's got the whole like bumpers and all that cool yep. stuff. But yep, yeah, yep. Pantheon have been making great boards for a while. Shout out to Chase Hiller. Yep. Shout out Shout to out Andy. Chase. And Jeff, the guy who's yep. making those boards. Shout, Shout out, out to Jeff. Jeff. Keep on keeping keen, on, mate. Keen to see those boards, you know, come to production. I like their graphics, pretty trippy graphics. So I'm keen to yep. see what happens. So that was number three, Pantheon. Yep. What do we got next? Uh, people going to Hawaii, man. Oh, yeah. So well, you know all about the Hawaii. Yeah. Tell us about it. So I follow Parker Vidmar. follow a few of the people that went on this trip. It was Parker, Emily, um, Chase Hiller, and another homie, E.B. Carroll. Is and this that, like a teen thing? Or I don't even know what it is. I, so that's why I'm so excited to see what actually comes of it. But they went on a trip to Maui, which if you've watched the Get That Skate podcast, you know that's my favourite place in the yep. entire world. Yep. So I'm sitting at home in Australia, working every day on my lunch break, flicking through social media, and they're out on all my favourite hills. And I'm thinking, dude, this is so sick. And I get to see people skating out in, you know, on Maui, on the island. And I'm just thinking, man, I hope they hit the locals up because the locals there are some of the best people you'll ever meet. Dakota, one of my main homies, he's not there at the moment. He's living on mainland America. But then the next day I get on my phone, they're with the locals. And that's my favorite thing, seeing people go, you know, travel to different places. You have to hit the locals up. It's just a a respect thing. It's It's the way. It's it's common sense. And you'll get a better experience if you do hit the locals up. So, yeah. Parker and all them, Chase, Emily, uh, EB, all those people, dude, they were shredding. And Parker makes clips. Yeah. Okay. He films. There you go. So that's why I'm excited. That's why I wanted to talk about whatever they're doing there. Get to the editing bay, Parker. Whip that up. Yeah, we're trying I'm to keen see to it. See it. We're trying to see that. Dude, absolutely ripping. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm actually more <laughs> excited than I should be because I love seeing clips from Did Maui. they skate Crater? I skated Crater. Saw Emily Tick. with the leathers on down Crater with a chase and a singlet behind her, which is interesting. But yeah. it's a gna- that's a gnarly hill, that one. So whatever floats your boat. It's just chase things, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that was number four. What's number five? Number five, we got our boy Frenchie. That whole crew, Frenchie, um, Fox, the other Josh Newman, yep. 
always wilding out on the West Coast this last year. Shout out to those guys. Just dropped some heavy brass. brass I clothes. saw that brass. Oof. It's like an Instagram video, right? Yeah. 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 There's Frenchie out there. Um, I think is, Minsky was with him. I'm not I, sure. I've subscribed to Frenchie's YouTube channel. Yep. Which is his his government name, right? Which is what? Adrian Paynell. But yeah, no, that Bra- was sick clips. Um, the brass clips. Brass clip. Brass is still good. Yeah. Another year. Well, apparently. The road hasn't let's, fallen off the cliff. Let's get the world opened up. Yeah, far mm. off. Um, yeah, so that was sick. Also, Frenchie, unfortunately, just done his wrist at Mobbins, I think, the other day. So, shout out to him. Shout out to you, Frenchie. Um, heal up. Heal up, bro. Get back out there. Yeah, we love seeing you guys skate. So, fucking keep on keeping on. Hell yeah. What else we got? We have... We were just speaking about We were just Rocket. speaking about Rocket. We, we could we have done another Rocket. two in one. Damn. But we number one, two, three, four, five. Six? Six, even though it says seven. It's yeah, six. We've mixed it up. Number yeah. six is going back to Rocket, Swiss made, beautiful skateboards. They've just put two new they've put a lot of new decks out yep. recently. Like at the smaller yep. range. Yeah. What's the name of them? The like Scout. The Scout boards, yeah. Hectic boards. Yeah, but they brought boards. out two boards that we're gonna talk about more in depth right yep. now. So our homie Ian, Ian Frey, yep. even Frey, I don't know how you say his last name. Yeah. Um but yeah, drop two. New pro models with his name on them, two. Yeah, so he's got two sizes. Um, so I think Rocket done that in the past as well. They I have, think yeah. They've yeah, done yeah. the Dom Shank and yeah. then the Mini Dom. Yeah. Um, they've done the same with Ian's new board. So I believe they're called the Macro and the Micro. Yeah. Super sick yeah. for all types of riders. You want yeah. a big board? You want a small mini race board? Man, it's there. Yeah. So go out support Ian. He's one of the best skaters. Hands up and hands down in the world. So Euro boys. Yeah. 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 And Rocket, I've said it before and I'll keep saying it. They make great construction, great looking, great feeling, just awesome boards. So shout out to Ian and the two boards. If you've got one, let us know how it is. I think Hop's got some in. Hop just got him, yeah. I think he's distributing Rocket for Australia. So yeah, if you're in Australia, talk to your local skate shop or talk to Hop. Yeah. Or your local skate shop will talk to Hop. Yeah. So yeah, that's exciting as well. And Rocket have always kind of used like a carbon fiber bottom sheet. I don't Couldn't know. Couldn't tell you. It looks good though. It looks good, but they, <laughs> they they kind of have stuck to the black or the like maroon for the werewolf board and I, things like I that. I really like that one. These that Ian these Ian macro and micro boards have like a green um, layer on the board. I think it's a bit Brazilian inspired because that's where right. he's from. Oh, is he? Yeah, Ian's from Brazil. I thought he was a Euro boy. He spent a lot of time. Oh, well, there. yeah. yeah anyway. um, but no, he's actually from Brazil. Yeah. So, yeah. So, shout out to them. That was number six, number seven. <sighs> number seven. So, we've some, got unf- a- some unfortunate news, ladies and gentlemen, for the local scene here in Australia. We've got a mate. If you're an Aussie and you know this person, you might be in for a bit of... Bit of a chuckle. A laugh or condolences, whichever well, way both, you go. Yeah, yeah both. Yes, yeah. We've got a friend and he shreds. His it's name's so Dejan. Some we people, call him Mustard. Some people know him as Mustard. Unfortunately, <laughs> he's got no back window on his car. No. Right? So he's got no back window on his ute. and Which, just, is, which is a truck. For yeah, people who live in truck, America. In a truck. Um, and he's left his skateboard in the back, which is a rocket board. Yep. And yep. he had brand new rogue trucks on it. Yep. Some gold ones. Yep. Some brand spankers. And overnight, someone, some very rude person. Is <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's no, not. No, it's Someone's sad. come in the middle of the night and they've broken into his truck and they've stolen his skateboard but that has rogues, brand new rogues on it. And also... And his tools. All his work stuff. So yeah, all his which, power tools, all gone. And that's the actual, like, annoying and sad and disappointing part is that's what gets him is, you know, that's what yeah, pays that's how he the makes his bread, man. So shout out to Dijan. I hope you get everything back. But... You were a very nice person and you caught on to Mustard losing his board yeah, and absolutely. his new rogue trucks. Yeah, which mustard's someone who I skate with a lot. A yeah, lot, man. Yeah. We, live, um, we skate Sydney all Dude, the time. And he goes hard. Yeah, he's always keen to skate. Yeah. So um, him not having a board shouldn't be a barrier for him mm. not skating. So you were nice enough to lend him an old set of rogues? Yeah, so I, sent, I gave him my old um, black set of, of rogues, yep. slaloms. 
So yeah, he got him right. He was back riding. What board did he put him on? Just he old... he put him on a fiber tech board. Right. So he spent a bit of time out in, in Zurich. Yeah, with yeah. Ranky, and he just like got to make his own thing. Yeah. Hell yeah. So um, he put him on like an old fiber tech board. Yeah. Put the rogues on. I um got some mags as well. That's chucked them on. Very nice of you to lend. Yep. Such a uh, important slash expensive skateboarding <laughs> gear. What happened next? <sighs> They stole it again. Yep. So you're saying yep. he left the board in the car that has <laughs> no back window <laughs> and, he, and that and second then, board got stolen. And then the same thing happened to him all over again. Unbelievable. Not good. You couldn't write it. No. You couldn't write no, it. No, no. So if you're Poor in the bloke. Sydney region. Yeah, if you're in New South Wales yeah. even, if you see... Two, two <laughs> skateboards on Marketplace, Gumtree, anywhere that you can find things that are for sale, pawn shops. Yeah, pawn shops, cash converters. Bro, any of anything. that stuff, look out for two boards with really shiny, nice, good looking, expensive, Don't really turny, 106 <laughs> millimeter downhill skateboarding trucks because, yeah, it's not good. I no. feel, I'm feeling like the, like, is it irony? I don't know what it is, but just like two, the same thing happening. If those, the people who stole it are watching this, we're coming for you. They're watching, of course. Yeah, I mean, because who is it? Right? Yeah. So yeah. shout out to Mustard. I'm, we're sorry that happened. Yeah. I'm out of trucks as well now, bro. So I can't yeah. give you any more. Sorry, mate. And I'm not lending you anything. You can borrow it, but it comes back to me at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> um, number eight. Uh, right. Yeah. Number eight. Um, so I'm not sure if you've seen Mr. Main, mm. but people in Brazil are going absolutely batshit crazy for the longest stand-up Dude, the contest. longest stand-up. Was it... Was after, it um, after years of hiatus. Yeah, it's, it's not been back. a thing. But was it Team Brokoff set the challenge out? Is that how it started? Yeah, it was through Team Brokoff's... They, yeah. So he's put a video up, True. 100 bucks, US dollars. That's it. For the biggest... That's it, for the biggest standee. And the Brazils have... Have just been like taken it, and they've literally gone to the hills with it. Yeah, right. So, what's the? <laughs> Fire, I've been I, didn't, some, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I've been seeing some crazy stuff man, on Instagram. People getting towed in on mopeds. Yeah, and bro. Just fucking going for it, man. Safety third. Safety th absolutely third. Yeah. Just eating shit into the sidewalk. Um. What's yeah, but the I think biggest? eighty-two meters. That's big. That's man. so long. 82 meters is nearly like a kilometer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. I don't want to go that big nah. doing a stand up. Dude, how slide. do you even have hills that are Yeah, 80? bro. We don't even have hills that are 82 kilometers long. When Mitch Thompson took. Um, Rob. Rob. Rob Lang. It? Rob Lang to TD. a hill that's. No, not no? TD, bro. It's a hill that's on the Central Coast. Okay. And it's known for. Rest in peace. Um, someone went in a garbage bin and rode down the hill and died. And mm. so we, it was red hot when we were there. I was there. I witnessed it in person. And it is one of the steepest hills, like, in the area that yeah, I right. live in. And um, even he didn't go 82 meters or whatever. But that he got the world record. This is, like, Damn. four or five years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. But the Brazilians are just going. And no, and that, that's the thing. Like, it's not just this guy. Yeah. There's a There's lot a bunch of, them, of them, yeah. There's a bunch of them, and they're all going for it. So I'll try to find, I'll put up here yeah. some I think videos. his name's Bruno. Shout out to Bruno yeah. in Brazil. Shout out to Bruno in Brazil. You're crazy, man. Shout out to all of Brazil. Yeah. You, you've not, have you been there? Yeah, yeah. Have you skated Teutonia? No. Okay. One day. Yeah, one day. That yeah. would be insane. 106. Yeah. 106 mil trucks to Teutonia. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. The yeah, shout out to Bruno. Shout out to Bruno. He's also riding Carlos's new wheel brand, Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy yeah, Wheels. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to you, Carlos, as well, man. Keep on. Carlos, where's the, the box? <laughs> no. Um, number nine. Number nine, something I want to talk about is I've tried to pronounce some French stuff before. So, yeah, you're the master. So I'm going to so try it again. L Les. Les Magician. Oh, beautiful. Or... In Australia, I'd say I just pronounce it less magicians. <laughs> French boys, not sure exactly who. Is it a crew? Is it one person? I think it's the Marseille, Marseille crew. Okay. Lucas, Lucas and them boys. Right. 
So, so sick. I want to skate with them, but I subscribe to their YouTube channel and they put out some absolute bangers. Yep. First of all, I want to talk about a video they made recently called Men on the Moon. Yep. And it's just a short, like, they, they just keep you so, like, interested and focused on the video. But they made this sick video called Men on the Moon. But I think a week ago or how long ago did this video come out? The new one? Part two? Yeah. Three days ago. No, not part two. Part one? No, the La Reunion one. That's part. That's day two. Oh, that's right. The sec- that's the second part of an edit that they'd already dropped. Oh. So, yeah. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm tripping. There's so much footage. Bro, that La Reunion part two video, we watched it right before we filmed this again because yeah. we thought it was that sick. Dude, they're having a sick time. Yeah, like that that looks like a place that it's I'm like trying to a, go. It's like a mixture. Like we haven't been there. So La Reunion is La Reunion. But for someone who hasn't been there, it looks like a mixture of like... Um, Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. Tenerife. Tenerife. Even Mallorca. Mallorca, sure. Never right. been there. But yeah. La Reunion. That video looks sick. Anyway, yeah. they're... They're not just, it's not all skating. And that's what I like in skate videos. Give me, I watch any skate video. I love watching new skate videos. But the trip ones where people are showing what they're doing around. Yeah, like it's about the trip, not just yeah. about. And the thing I liked about this video, I'm sure you noticed too, mm. all GoPro. Yeah, sick. Like you don't, you don't need a lot, you don't need to carry this big, you know, red camera or you be gimbal with your Sony like I do sometimes, whatever. <laughs> I've seen people at events with the biggest setups. I'm like, that's awesome. But Les Magicians are filming with a GoPro, bro. Yep. And they're jumping off waterfalls. They're hiking. His transitions, like you mentioned. Yeah, the transitions. It's so like, sick. just go and watch the video to check it out. Focus on the skating, but focus on those transitions because that felt that that man knows how to make a good video. So yep. shout out to them. Shout out to that guy. I'm so keen to see more from those boys. Yep. Absolutely. And, and slash all girls. So yeah, that was number nine. What's number ten? Number ten, wrapping up the top ten. We have Bad Girl Riri, Rydell coming out of the Philippines. Shout out to the Philippines. Absolutely dropping the heat in that last concrete roar run Dude. video. <sighs> So I've not skated concrete like that. Okay, so that you, you got you got to know that nothing that nothing will compare to that yeah. Philippines bright grey concrete. That's a yeah. special type of concrete. Yeah, right. We'll skate concrete here, and yeah. it won't be the same. Not the same, eh? Man, it's so slidey on your wheels. Yeah, but then it like grips up on your pucks. Okay, so she's like, I guess I'll just do it stand up. Hey, she's like, a machine. Far bro. out. Like I, I'll go as far as saying I don't think there's a better girl skating stand-up yeah. in the world right now. Possibly. I think she's got that stand-up game yeah. on lock. Yeah. And the craziest thing is, man, like, she learned how to skate in 2019. Yeah, you've spoken about her before, eh? Yeah, That's look, sweet. I worked with a little bit with her because she was on the, you, the Philippines um, Sea Games team. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I got to coach her. Coach. Coach. Um, I spent like a month working with her and even in the month that we spent together, like she got Progression. so much better. Yeah. Like she'd never even like ridden a Magnum before. True. And then by the end, she was sliding hands down. Yeah. And then three months after, she's dropping videos doing toe side stand-ups on Magnum. Insane. Bro, I don't even on, do that. On Magnums? On Magnums. Bro. I don't even do that. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. That's so shout mental. out to her. Shout out to Rydell. Yeah. That video Check that slapped. raw run out. Is it on... Yeah. Just her social media or yeah, YouTube? Yeah, Instagram or? and Facebook. I'll put it here. Oh, yeah. Facebook too. Yeah. Go check it out because that's some... Oh, I, I, would mi- I wouldn't I would mind trying that to skate that if I'm ever over there one day. Oh, mate, it's the only thing you'll get to skate. Yeah, true. Yeah. This, yeah. You've, you've shown me some sick clips of you like rallying with boys over there and it's all on concrete and I'm just yeah. watching it like, how? Well, imagine, right? You never had asphalt. Yeah, true. What are you going to do, bro? No and you're not, not going to not skate. Yeah. And you just get used to it, like anything else. Get it done. Get it done, mate. Yeah. So that was number 10. That was number 10. I'm going to give him a bonus. Go on, then. Bonus run. If you're yeah. watching this and you know that Get That is not only a podcast, Get That is a clothing label, the world's number one best downhill skateboard clothing company. There you go. <laughs> Man, get yourself sorted. <laughs> but you might be thinking- If you didn't know, now you know. Jack, I can't get sorted because there's nothing on the website. In the podcast, Small Hiatus, I've been getting the new drop ready. There's going to be one skate graphic shirt. Not going to tell you who it is. 
There'll be a few other little bits and pieces, some hats, some this and that. But there's going to be a new skate graphic shirt. It's been a Damn. year. It's been a while. Since the last skate graphic shirt. COVID put a hold on things. You were on the last skate graphic oh, shirt. Yeah, that was me, yeah. All the awesome people from the ra- from around the world who've been hitting me up saying, when's there going to be more skate graphic shirts? The answer is soon. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Haz. No worries, mate. Anytime. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, for watching. See you soon.